Hi gang, Scott here. Quick video for you about customizable keyboard shortcuts in On One Photo Raw. This is one of the new features in the 2021.5 update. And if you're running 2021 and you haven't updated yet, you know, hit the check for updates option in the menu. You'll see the update there waiting for you. And if you're thinking about adding Photo Raw to your toolkit or any of the plugins, check the show notes. There is an offer code down there that can save you money. Now, customizable keyboard shortcuts. You know, what is this all about? It's like it sounds. You can change or set keyboard shortcuts for a whole slew of different operations in Photo Raw. So you can tailor the environment to your workflow. There are certain things that you do all the time that you wanna have a particular hotkey for. You can do that. I wanna show you how it works here. In the edit menu, we have keyboard shortcuts. And you get this list and there are tons of things. You have options for the different modules, switching between different modules, different controls in developed. You have all of these are predefined and you can go through the whole list here and you can search the list too. Like if you're looking for something in the menus, like, I don't know, like uh, what, what do we have with view? We have view modes, we have show preview. You can set columns, uh, you know, column views, anything that you are normally doing as part of your workflow, you do again and again and again, you want to have a keyboard shortcut for it, you have to define it here. Now one I'm very keen on is in the mask area. Let me clear my filter there and in the view mode, I use red overlay and grayscale all the time. I want keyboard shortcuts for that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and the very first time you do this, it'll say, hey, uh, you can't change the defaults. Do you want to make a new you know, style, as it's called? And uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to call mine STP, Scott Davenport Photo. And so now you'll notice up at the top there, it says STP. This is my profile. So you can do that straight away by creating uh, a new style. Or if you try to make a change, the tool will help you get there. Let me get into the mask menu here we are red overlay now if I set this to a key that is already in use like O for overlay we already have that key if I press that and say enter it's gonna hey uh, this is already used do you want to override it you certainly can if you want to I'm not going to because I use O all the time to toggle things on and off so instead for the red overlay I will set it to let's say command O cool and then for grayscale, I'll double click on that one. I'll set it to option O since I'm on a Mac. Okay, now I've got those two things set. Great. Let's see them in action, right? Now, first I have my O key. I can view my mask. Very cool. Command O. That's my red overlay. Option O, go back to my grayscale. This is something I could not do until I had customizable keyboard shortcuts. For whatever reason, there was not a keyboard shortcut to toggle through the different overlay modes. And so now when I'm working and I'm down in here and maybe I've got my my masking brush active and you know I'm, I'm working through things and I'm changing my mask and for whatever reason now, it's like, I, this is this is problematic. I can't see it in grayscale. I can hit my keyboard shortcut. I can start working in this red overlay. And this is probably not a, not a good example for red overlay. Maybe I, I don't want to have it here. Now I want to switch back to my grayscale overlay. I can do that with my keyboard, not having to go up to the menu switch the overlay mode back down to my masking. It means a more focused, a more streamlined workflow. And this is just one example. I'm sure you can think of many others in your workflow where you don't want to go away from the task you're working on. In this case, it's masking. Maybe for you, you're doing something with culling or putting uh, photos into albums, whatever it might be. You wanna focus on that workflow, set up a few keyboard shortcuts so that you can stay focused on your task and a little muscle memory kicks in and you'll start being able to toggle things, move things, work with the keyboard. And it just means getting through photos faster, get onto the next photo. The whole point is faster workflow, more photos, and ultimately more time with the camera. You can get back out and make some more new images. Hope you found this useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.